game. <laughs> what? I don't know how else to put it. <laughs> Look at it. What video game is it? I know I say that every time, but... <laughs> I'm just gonna let you... Just enjoy this. this. What's that thruster doing? It's like, great. It's the majesty of it's steam coming up. Oh, yeah. It's steam Look at powered. this. Um... Oh no, it's crashing. Look at that. In City World. Tells you everything you need to know in five seconds. <laughs> Listen to this music. Cyborg Justice. Yes! <laughs> Dish notes of Cyborg Justice. Why does everybody own this game on the Genesis? <laughs> Everyone because I've ever seen that has Genesis around here has this Cyborg Justice game. Because it's amazing at first glance. <laughs> <laughs> Cyborg Justice, you build your own robots and you play this beat em up and... Not really. Just you just, uh... Well, what you do in Cyborg Justice is you choose from a selection of different parts for your robot oh, that yeah. do nothing. Mm -hmm. And then you play a really, really bad beat em up. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Uh-huh. Because it is. Look. Look at all these different things. You get gun. Gun. Punch. Why would you pick this? I don't know why. <laughs> this, it's useless. Everything is useless. Just look at it like that and you'll understand how to strategize, what to pick. It's all about finding out, finding out what's uh, the most useless. It's all about just picking the things that look the coolest. Yeah. When I first had this, I just picked this. All this cool, make them look like any construction equipment. Mm hmm. I'm gonna smash a building. <laughs> yeah. Why? Why would you have this? Yeah, it's on like a, a robot. <laughs> That's oh some great. Some kind of pow uh, high-powered mixer that mixes the guts of your enemies. We'll take this frog, frog body. body. Yeah, I don't like frog body. Insect Figure body. Figure out how. All right, I guess. None of these other parts say like what what they do or what their advantage is. You gotta figure it out on your own. Yeah. That's ugly as hell. Quasimodo, buddy. Jesus. Big Big Booster Booster. Booster. Where's that Big Booster Buddy? <laughs> oh. No. Frog Buddy. Insect Buddy. Oh, Lobster Buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tank Legs. Tank Legs. Wait, just look at that strut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe these damage guys will pick that. Here we go, level 1 dash 1. Why couldn't I just ride that through the stage? <laughs> because of those missiles. <laughs> Listen to this music. I know. It's so cyborg, Justice. Like, if you try to walk up past the layer that you're on, let's say, let's say you hit the invisible wall, yeah. he just kind of dances. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, it's Yara's revenge. Yeah. <laughs> he just kind of trying to dodge things from weird directions and do nothing. <laughs> and do nothing and have no fun while you're doing it. <laughs> yeah. That's Yara's revenge. That's the whole reason I like Yara's revenge. It's Check. a really, like for a for a uh, um, Atari twenty six hundred yeah, game. It's, it's, it's really graphically complex. cool. Yeah, like it's got lots of effects and things, and it's got that weird rainbow color bar that you never really see in many other uh, Atari games. I bet they spent like it takes all the graphics power to render that thing. That's why there could be no more game to it. Uh huh. Yars Revenge, people, check it out. Check it out, Yars Revenge. Atari 2600. <laughs> November, like... 1982, seven, 81. <laughs> 1979 or something, <laughs> I think. What's that little dot on you? I don't know. I, I know I know what you're looking at. Yeah. I just... I keep thinking it's like my health, but I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's your hitbox. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, look at this shit. Is. Like, since it's from not not from a top-down view, you can, like, see your hitbox, but it doesn't uh, actually tell you like, where it this is. This would be a pretty cool game if it was uh, top-down and you explored futuristic cities 
with a robot with that you built with parts that actually did something. Mm-hmm. That'd be pretty cool. It would well, probably be a classic. The parts have different <laughs> abilities and stuff. But, uh, like those tank legs make you tank around, but uh, then I'm just gonna get hit. Ultimately, they're they're the abilities are uh, aren't. Uh, all right, well, can't win them all. Brutality, fair play. <laughs> Brutality point. Oh yeah, and the uh, insert coin countdown is a self-destruct system. Try that saw. I am. That's weird. That's a normal body. Why would you? Why would someone pick anything that's called normal? I'll just go with the normal way. Okay, yeah, we'll get the saw. Hmm. There's no normal legs. <laughs> There's jogging. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. They only produce normal bodies. Normal ink only produces bodies. Pneumatic legs. What do they do? I hope they let me jump. They should. Yeah. China. Wow. Try, try other things. It might make you jump in straight up, maybe. This uh, game has all those uh, early beat em up console things where uh, there's only like three buttons. Alright? Mm -hmm. So there's like. A punches, B kicks, C blocks, but C and A does a special attack, and C and B jumps, and A and... Yeah. That, it, it just kind of... It hurts the last ability of it, because you can't, like, just switch around uh, beat em up games on the fly. You gotta, like, relearn, like... It's like playing one shooter, and then going to another one, where they change what button shoots, or something like that. Yeah. You know, like, it's the same exact game, but... They felt the need to change the controls. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just so tired. It's like, O to reload. Or O to dash. Yeah. Or is O my inventory? <laughs> well, they, so different people have a different uh, idea of what's, like, the ideal button configuration. I'm pretty sure there's one yeah, most, ideal. Most games let you configure it yourself. And yeah, that's that would be ideal, actually. Yeah. That would be the one true perfect control scheme, is letting you customize it completely. Like, I can't see why they, that's not in every game. It's in every PC game. But, uh, yeah, consoles just haven't been doing it. Like, until... Like, 2005 or something. Um, anyway, you got that, uh... That saw arm, but you spend most of your time, uh, shooting... Or, sh punching people with... I don't know how to Shooting act. with my saw arm. You just did it there. Do it. God damn it. You dead? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's next? Bring it on. Just doing your dr justice trot down the barren lands. Trying there. to open up a can of cyborg justice, but appears to be a hole here. Hmm. Try jumping down. <laughs> Just run down. What? There's some way to jump a, great, a long distance. Do we actually need to pick the right legs? Uh, maybe... Maybe the levels change based on your abilities? That'd be cool. Uh, pretty sure it doesn't. Yeah, well, let's, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> the weird pointless robot arm and the other stupid crap that no one cares about. It's a... It's a blender arm. <laughs> I'm gonna blend <laughs> you. Blend. Watch out. Does it blend? Well, let's see. Oh, 
Welcome to Does It Blend. We're gonna blend uh, an iPad. <laughs> Everyone watch now. <laughs> 600 million hits later. Blending an iPad too. That's what Apple should invest in. Building products that won't blend. Just won't. <laughs> yeah. You know, everyone's gonna do it. Uh, that that would really help, though, uh, honestly, because uh, <laughs> every time I see someone with like a um, iPod Touch or or any iPod, really, they uh, I just want to blend it. They're just covered covered in cracks and scratches. I know. It's that weird gloss finish. It looks nice, but f frankly, at this point, I would rather that like matte, like just the rough surface. It's just matte. Matte. Yeah. I'm um, pretty sure there's a T and an E after the mat. Yeah. To make a fancy maté. I know, but it's still matte. Well, I refuse to call it matte. Like a matte painting. That's a painting that's on a mat. Not a maté. <laughs> God. Maté is more of a pretentious... If I pay $300 for a, a piece of technology no one needs, including me, I'm going <laughs> to refer to it as maté. Yeah, yeah. And no one can stop a... me. <laughs> Gotta have that pre pretentious, uh, in-your-face, uh, French name. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is an Apple product. I'm surprised, uh, it's not Lay Apple Oil or something. No allusion to Reddit or anything there intended. <laughs> Even though I just did it by saying that. Yeah. Video is ruined. Regards, Uncle Dolan. <laughs> Regards, Uncle Dolan. <laughs> Love that. I know, it's it's so much more amusing than it should be. The whole Dolan thing. <laughs> Dolan Duck. Dolan Duck. Anyone wants to know what that is, just look up Dolan Duck in Google. You should find it at this point. Yeah. Um. Huh? Here, you try. Alright, I'll give her a try. I'm gonna give her a try, guys. <laughs> Root for me. All one. Yeah. You. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the uh, launch hand. The uh, big booster body. And uh, that's one ready-looking body, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah. I think we're ready. I got one of those arm weapons that. Uh, that launched such a needlessly large object that it probably costs a ton to fire. Oh, and you've got those 90s robot legs where it's just like a beak at the front. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they all have that back then, I don't know. Robot feet have to be huge. Yeah. Bam! Dexter's laboratory was filled with robots like that. That you notice that when you watch the show, hey? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Filled with robots that had the weird, big beak foot, just like a uh, Mega Man X, or X, so to speak, I guess. <sighs> Some of that official Mega Man art was taking that to the extreme, though. Boots that were like just <laughs> unreal. <laughs> in Wait, size. I just thought. How are these cyborgs? Uh, is there people in there? Or they, are they half people? Or? I don't know. They're they're completely robotic. They, it doesn't look know. like they it's, should be cyborgs. But. It's a gray area between robot, cyborg, and android. Mm. And no one's really kind of... Well, an android is ...come different. to terms. Automaton. <laughs> You can do that jumping kick. Yeah. I think this is, uh... Is that how you're, you're going to do a jump kick over the gap? Instead of just yeah. jumping? You should be able to just jump. Oh, <laughs> someone broke my arm. Oh, no. Or maybe I launched it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, how'd I just you do that? Ah. That's, that's awesome. My God, I didn't know you could do that. 
yank off someone's arm and maybe put it on, maybe? It's a beat-em-up. No one knows how to do anything. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that feel. I mean, I know how that feels. Yes, I, I too am aware of the feeling that that brings about in my mind. Yeah, just trying to play a beat-em-up for the first time and... You're just mashing buttons. <laughs> just trying to do something interesting. <laughs> it's so hard. Why can't I do anything? Okay, yeah. Uh, Welcome to Mortal Kombat. A festival of light punch. Just light punch, light punch, light punch, light punch, light punch, right to their head. Yeah. Just punch, everyone's punching each other right in the head. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Uh, there goes my Perfect. Body. Why are they constantly body. shooting just so you can't stop and enjoy the music? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why those missiles come out from the side of the screen so you can't stop and just listen. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Shit. How do you hit me when I'm... Oh. All right. Well, yeah, I got a high score. What should my name be? Uh. Robot. <laughs> wait, wait. Tobor. <laughs> In the the slip for uh, the Galaxy Invader DVD I got, where you could order a catalog to get more movies from them. Mm -hmm. There was a movie you could order called uh, "Here Comes Tobor." <laughs> Tobor? <laughs> it's robot backwards. Oh. And there's a picture of this evil robot looking guy on it. <laughs> <laughs> the robot Tobor. <laughs> mm. I bet the movie is like a like three and a half hours of people talking in a lab, like scientists, and then five minutes of an explosion at the end with something happening. <laughs> yeah. All those movies are like that. Just spend forever in the lab talking about nothing. These scientists that you don't care about. Alright, let's try a configuration like this. One that doesn't really look good, in my opinion. I yeah. see you're using uh, the uh, second generation uh, remodel of the Genesis controller there. The six button version. Yes, I what am. What do you think of that? Is it comfortable? They don't make it... They, like, this game doesn't support that. No, but it is. This thing you know, we're playing with the six button Genesis controller. Whoa! So that's the point of the pneumatic legs. You know, the smaller. Whoa! So, uh, how does uh, that smaller, this is crazy. more ergonomic six button controller feel in your hand? Oh, shit. Um. Good? Yeah, good, I guess. I'd uh, like to. It's one of my favorite controllers in this, in the Ginger Switch Studio. It might be my favorite controller. It's a little in bit. Total. It's a little bit awkward, as all uh, Genesis controllers are, but. It's, uh, yeah, it's shit. Whoa! See, I got a frog body, I got pneumatic legs, I got like a, uh, cannon arm, so I'm kind of like, uh, kind of just a frog guy. Yeah. I'm a frog-themed, uh, cyborg justice robot. Alright. What's your favorite controller? I can't, uh, I don't know. The GameCube controller? Yeah. You did, did ha, what? <laughs> Can we change the subject, please? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite controller is the Gun Con. How do you feel about the current tax rates? I feel they're high, being at twenty percent. A little <laughs> high. Uh. Yeah. So how's well, that? Uh, who's your favorite? Who's your favorite uh, U.S. Uh, presidential candidate? Right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah that okay. uh, uh, Mitt guy. Mitt Romney. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> That's a good opinion. It's well informed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in America, so I don't know. But yeah. If I was in America, I might care. I'm not in America, so I don't... Oh, well... You're in America, I'm not. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Where I'm sitting is America, but, uh... Where I'm sitting is Canada. Yeah, yeah. 
So, no, it's Australia, isn't it? That's how big the Ginger Foot Studio is. You don't even realize. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know. And our cat, uh, French Gourmet, here is in Japan. Uh, He's getting all the games for us. <laughs> He's getting all oh, the classics. Man. He this died is, already. This is hard. There's a huge delay uh, before every single day. Finally, can't, finally count it. You get to try. You try to figure out these uh, these uh, moves the game gives you. We didn't try these tank legs yet. Yeah, I didn't try the tank legs. Insect body. I don't think... Wait, yeah, you tried the insect body. Or no, you, you tried the crab body. Um, yeah, we're almost you this certainly shit. didn't try that sh shitty thing. Quasimodo body. Yeah. What the hell were they thinking there? Look like a spaceman. I am a spaceman. No, you're you're more space than the rest of the robots from space, somehow. I think I have like two copies of this game. Of course you do. That can that cannon does a lot more damage than I thought it would. Yeah. Never been able to pull it off because it just takes so long to charge. I have about eight copies of Super Mario World. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I just keep finding them. What else them. is new? They're yeah. everywhere. I think I have Pebble Beach Golf Links three times, though. Oh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I think I, I also have Disney's Tarzan on the PS1 and, and N64. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know why I even had it once. <laughs> why? <laughs> Oh yeah, you know what, uh, apart from this game, what easily the most common Genesis game I find is? What? Uh, ah, Real Monsters. Ah, Real Monsters, yeah. Remember that show? Uh-huh. Yeah, I keep on finding the game based on that show everywhere. I think I have it three or four times. I don't even know why. Why everyone has it. Must have had a cool cover. Uh, maybe... People like the uh, Ah Real Monsters, so... Oh, was it uh, um, popular? With me. Like I watched it. Like I watched it, yeah. Yeah, I so mean, I, I, didn't, guess... like, I didn't go right out, you know, right overboard with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just doing action things there. Just... Well, Whoa. people... Like, there were cartoons in the 80s that people were crazy over, but they weren't any good at all. Um, Example? Like... Well, G.I. Joe and... Yeah. Uh, uh, I think... I I don't know. I don't want to say anything about Thundercats, because I haven't seen it, but... Well, what that might be is just a... Like, with G.I. Joe, that might have been, like, the first show of its kind. Like, military cop guys do good things. Hmm. And it's been... It's been, like, ripped off a million times since... So maybe it was just like kind of cool at the time, and you know, oh, yeah. it wasn't, you know, maybe it wasn't around that much. Well, yeah, it didn't. Uh, just like uh, Power Rangers, you know. Yeah. That was kind of it. Our real monsters were certainly uh, unique. Oh, look at this! I can test it in here. Oh, magnificent! Um, hey, there was a... Do that double jump in this tiny place. See if you just fly off the screen. Whoa. Um, all right. There was a few, like, offshoot shows from the early Power Rangers. Like, uh, Big Bad Beetleborgs. Remember that? Yeah. And, uh, uh, VR Troopers. Mm-hmm. That were, like, and uh, also, uh... A common Rider show, too. Common Rider? Yeah, there was a... Saban localized uh, an early common Rider season. Oh, yeah, And they I tried to... Uh, in Season 3 of Power Rangers, they tried to uh, sell off common Rider in that show with the common Rider character. Like, common Rider appears in an episode of Power Rangers in the third season. Oh. They were trying to set up that show to sell it. Mm-hmm. But it never took off. 
I don't. I, That's a shame. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they didn't call it Common Rider though. Common Rider is easily better than every Metal Hero style show, you know, in mm. Japan or or Sentai show in yeah. general, really. So, but uh, yeah, uh, Common Rider never took off in uh, America, unfortunately. Mm. But they tried to uh, have a bunch of plugs in it in Power Rangers to get people to watch it, but they never did. I wonder what made Power Rangers uh, popular. I don't know. Well, we were just, just talking about G.I. Joe. It was probably just appealing. Yeah, it was probably just appealing at the time and mm-hmm. knew at the unique, time. yeah. And then all those quick cash-ins to try to rip off it, Beelborgs, VR Troopers, and all that just didn't fly. Because mm-hmm. everyone already had Power Rangers. Why they need VR Troopers? I guess the band never really realized that. Uh, is that does that launcher arm uh, just disappear after you use it? I don't does know. it come back? I don't know for sure because I think it happened uh, during my playing. But uh... oh, <laughs> going with super generic, bro. I'm going with Robot Man. Yeah. I am Justice Man. I am Cyborg Zero One. Yeah. <laughs> Prepare to meet your cyborg justice. Let's hold on here. I'm gonna dish you up some justice. One moment, please. Justice is all I know, <laughs> but I don't really know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. But justice is all I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll show you how to do it. That makes a lot of sense. Um, <laughs> That's so, I was born to justice. It's all I know. <laughs> but wh- why can't you do it then? I don't know. Just press the right button. I want to do it. There is no you, try. You can't. You can't do. <laughs> or don't. That is the question. You can't uh, be the judge, jury, and execute executioner if you keep dying. I'm trying to be the law, but it's making it hard. This feels like it could have been a, a Judge Dredd game, somehow. But <laughs> Where Judge Dredd pilots a robot and fights other robots. I'm just trying to pretend it's fun. In the future. <laughs> just to, well, Judge Dredd's kind of in the future. Maybe not, not. And this is in space, though, I think. So it's, yeah. I, A kid's imagination could just pretend this is the future. Look. It's like, kind of, purple sky. And <laughs> pollution. <laughs> Made the sky purple. <laughs> the world of the future has a green sky. <laughs> and yellow grass. And a brown oh. sun. Scree- a green sky oh. and blue grass. God damn it. Imagine a brown sun. Blue grass. Aha. Blue grass everywhere in the future. Everyone's, everyone all loves bluegrass. Bluegrass music players were right all along. <laughs> They're laughing now. Ah. Yeah. We knew it. I want to go out in the brown sun. We're not. Uh, we're not getting anywhere in this game. What else is new? <laughs> where <are> those cheap? <laughs> Great. What are those teeth sticking out of the ground? It's like... Okay, how did you do this? What button did you press? Um... Oh, I, uh, jumped and then kicked... Yeah, okay. like that. Alright. Maybe that's what you have to do. It's kind of weird, but... <sighs> that, uh, that dot is the place which your sprite is colliding with the ground. I just realized. That's just about the stupidest idea. Because it, it, make, it tells you that they knew it was wrong. Or they knew it was like not not good enough. Yeah. So they just put that dot there to notify you know where you would land. Mm-hmm. That's a problem. I wish more games had that though. Yeah, but you shouldn't need it. A lot of games have that problem. That that's the kind of thing where you, they're putting a band aid on it and they're not working backwards to fix it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll just heal itself after mm. a few days. Um, Who cares? Nine year olds are going to buy the game anyway. Look at the cover. God damn, look at that robot. Look how awesome this cover is. Damn it, okay. Oh yeah. 
He's <laughs> an awesome cover. This cool looking chrome robot what? sawing the shit out of some other robot in some let, dystopian let, red world. Let's try uh, making the uh, robot from the cover art. Um, okay. Okay, we got the saw arm. Yeah, but you can't give him the gun arm and the saw arm at the same time. I know. And, uh. It's like. No, the it's nothing that, body. It's that body, I think. This is the closest thing to it. Yeah, um, and the legs are the spike body. Spike legs, I mean. See, so yeah. look at it. There's the cover robot. Except, Except without the yeah, cannon. Yeah. You can't pick. Alright, well, let's give it a try. What do the spike legs do? I don't know. I was kind of hoping they did more damage when you yeah. kick. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's the case. Just a di very uh, minor difference. Maybe it has uh, more hits done. I don't know. Does any of it matter? <laughs> Just well, punch them. <laughs> this it is the doesn't best, matter. <laughs> this is the best strategy right here. I can vaguely remember getting fur in this when I first owned it. I mean, I, I still own it now, but I mean, when I, you know, when mm. it's relatively new. Okay, let's see what... Ah. Shit. I wish I had t the... T okay, I'll uh, get rid of these enemies and they'll try to figure out how to activate my saw. Ah, shit. Okay, there we go. Um, now it should be like. Wait. This is what A does. Stop you shooting just, me! Damn you it. just barely don't have enough time to experiment. Yeah. For that thing tries to shoot you. You notice that? It's like it's perfectly timed so that you can't try to figure out the controls. Well, that's what the <laughs> testing thing in the menu is. What? That's what, what that's for. God anyway. damn it, why? It's like, okay, wait a minute. So we're going to put this missile here to warrant the need for a test room. <laughs> and we're also going to put this little dot to figure out where your uh, collision box is. Yeah. Instead of fixing it. It's like... It's like the sky was purple. And they said, well... The color of the robots we had originally, which is green, kind of clashes with the purple. So they changed it to yellow, but then changed the purple to yellow. What the hell are you talking about? I'm just trying to figure out, like, the backwards development, like, putting a missile in there to necessitate a test room. Okay. <laughs> How would the kids use the test room if they could just do it in the stage? God, we got to... Like, w they, we need to have a ah, test yeah. room. We gotta put missiles. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we have a test room if there was no missiles? <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> just think for a second. <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is what I do when I mash A. I just kind of... Wait. Kind of jitter in place. Ooh. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Well, oh, this game is hard to make progress in. That's Cyborg Justice, everyone. That's Cyborg Justice, I guess. This production was brought to you by Wonder Vision. The future of the past is now.